Now, as many of you might already know that the U.S. plans to impose more tariffs onto the Chinese automakers or Chinese EV makers like NIO. Uh, ladies and gents, we read uh, an article indicating that we could see, of course, the Biden administration quadrupling tariffs on the Chinese uh, EV makers or Chinese automakers, making it very impossible for the uh, Chinese companies or car companies like NIO to penetrate the US market. This is not good at all. This is something that of course we discussed on Friday but to get to see that it could be this worse of in terms of increasing the tariffs. I mean quadrupling. I mean the, uh, it's so absurd. It's it's not good at all. I think they are making their uh, their motive very clear to say that they don't want Chinese automaker coming to the US which is something that it's not good to see. I mean, some of the people were saying that, well, what if China retaliates on Tesla and impose these heavy tariffs on Tesla, which when you have a look into the uh, Tesla sales in China, I think there's no need for, for, for China to, to react by adding tariffs for Tesla because already competition for Tesla, it's tough in China. I mean, sales-wise, you'll know that month-to-month, -month sale, the sales of, of Tesla drop quite sharply. I mean, we saw the uh, their sales dropping from around 60,000 to uh, just uh, over 30,000 which is something that shows you of how tense the competition is becoming for Tesla in China because it, there's just so many car, Chinese car companies that are competing and are creating top quality products and therefore companies like Tesla are struggling to sell. I mean we saw Tesla coming uh, and they cut their prices in March but it appears that that is not helping Tesla because April sales shows us just that to say that it looks like Tesla is struggling to get sales. I mean as the end of April Tesla sales were just over 163,000 which was down 7% year over year which that again shows you that in terms of sales and Tesla sales are being impacted. I mean to see Tesla sales for the month of April are being half down or cut down by 50 percent to just over 31,000 shows you that ladies and gents uh, competition is tough even when we are seeing tesla offering discounts to those that buy the tesla cars they the competition is becoming so tough for tesla and we are talking about this kind of tense competition before um, neo introduced their sub brand like on for which is primarily or which their target is to target the tesla which is to get to see already that things are already bad for tesla before neo could officially start with the selling of their sub brand it is not looking good for tesla in china so i don't think the chinese government needs to impose tariffs or do something like that because tesla we could we can see from the numbers that they are already struggling in china when it comes to sales they are already struggling because the market is so saturated in a way that the competition is very tough and it is for this reason that we should give thumbs up for car companies like neo that are seeing growth amidst this of course fierce competition that is currently uh, in china so i don't think uh, China should retaliate but rather let the, the, they must just leave uh, as is uh, but, but uh, we know one thing for sure and that is Tesla is losing the market in China uh, though the US might not want the Chinese comp companies to come and sell their cars in the US the Chinese EV makers are doing pretty good I, I think yesterday there was a or oh, two days ago there was a video from Wet Bush uh, or on Friday rather, who Wed Bush analyst was indicating that the battlefield for EVs, it looks like it will be in Europe. But Europe, you know that uh, New York is already selling their models there, or their products there with the battery shopping station already being deployed there, which is something that is pretty exciting. And you will know that by 2030, or the analyst from Wed Bush indicated that by 2030, BYD, said that they will be in the top spot in terms of the company that is selling most cars in Europe which is something that shows you that China, China, China is going to take the world by storm uh, on this fast growing EV industry. So yeah, we look forward to that and NIO, you will know that will be part of that journey as the NIO CEO said that NIO by around that time they plan to be in the top five of uh, the top selling uh, EVs uh, in terms of the top selling automakers globally which is something that is pretty 
exciting so yeah man we look forward uh, to the growth we look forward to these uh, things happening and hopefully our neo it is in gen so it is indeed in the top five by 2030 and it is doing very well but things like this where we are seeing the u.s pulling back don't know not wanting of course chinese company to want to penetrate the u.s i think it's not a good move but yeah man but neo otherwise in china they're doing very well hopefully in europe they do very well especially with their sub brand because you know that neo car or the main neo car ladies and gents in europe is not doing that well or as neo projected and i think this is because it is quite pricey i mean neo is already pricey in china and when they export that car already in europe of course the price will be a bit higher than what they are selling those cars in china which is something that of course that it's one of the factors that of course neo might not be doing as well in europe but the, to know that there's own vo coming this should change things around a bit for neo or turn things around a bit for neo as this car is will be much cheaper and much affordable by most of uh the lower middle income earners which is something that is pretty amazing otherwise with all that guys I just thought I'd just give you this quick update. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and once you subscribe, don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content. Otherwise, that's all from me, and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. And before you buy any of the very first time, it is always good that you do your own DD so that at least you can be comfortable as you are investing onto this stock. Otherwise, that's all from me, and God bless you all.